Okay, students, our lesson is all about linear inequalities in two variables presented by yours truly, Teacher Abigail. For our learning competency, differentiates linear inequalities in two variables from linear equation in two variables. Objectives. At the end of the topic, 80% of the students with 80% proficiency should be able to First, identify the different inequality symbols. Second, determine if an ordered pair of numbers is a solution of a linear inequality in two variables. Number three, show interest in solving linear inequalities. First, let's have a quick review. Identify what symbol, greater than or less than, is appropriate to make the mathematical statement true. Letter A, we have 26 blank 12. The answer is right. It is greater than. 26 is greater than 12. Letter B, we have negative 19 blank 4. Very good. The answer is less than. Negative 19 is less than 4. For letter C, we have negative 64 blank negative 65. The answer is right. It is greater than. Negative 64 is greater than negative 65. And finally, for letter D, we have 1 blank negative 5. Yes, you guess it right. It is greater than. 1 is greater than negative 5. Now, let's start the lesson. It is all about linear inequalities in two variables. Linear inequalities is a mathematical statement that uses the inequality symbols. Greater than, less than, less than or equal, greater than or equal, or not equal in showing relationship between mathematical expressions. We can solve linear inequalities same as linear equation by using substitution. Illustrative examples. Determine whether or not the given ordered pair satisfy the given linear inequalities. For letter A, we have x minus y is greater than 10 and the ordered pair 25 15 so we're going to substitute the value of x which is 25 minus the substitute or substitute the value of y which is 15 is greater than 10 next we have 25 minus 15 the answer is 10 greater than 10. Is 10 greater than 10? So the answer is false. And we can see that 25, 15 is not a solution. Next, let's move on to letter B. We have 2x plus y is less than or equal to 4. And we have the ordered pair 2, 4. Now, we're going to substitute the value of x, which is 2. We have 2 times 2 plus the value of y, which is 4, is less than or equal to 4. Then, we're going to multiply 2 times 2 the answer is 4. Plus 4, is it less than or equal to 4? Then, we have 4 plus 4, the answer is 8. Less than or equal to 4. Is the statement true? First, we're going to check the condition. We have case 1, which is... 8 is less than 4. 
So we can say that this is false. For case 2, we have 8 is equal to 4. So this statement is also false. Now, we can see that 2, 4 is not a solution. Let's have letter C. We have 5x plus 4y is less than 11 and the ordered pair negative 3, 2. So we're going to substitute the value of x which is negative 3. We have 5 times negative 3 plus substitute the value of y which is 2, 4 times 2 is less than 11. Then we have 5 times negative 3, the answer is negative 15. Plus 4 times 2, the answer is 8. Is less than 11. Then we have negative 15 plus 8, the answer is negative 7. Is less than 11. So we can say that negative 7 is less than 11 and the statement is true. Then we have negative 3, 2 is a solution. Next, for letter D, we have negative 4x plus 2y is e or greater than or equal to negative 16. Then, the ordered pair is 6, 4. Once again, we're going to substitute the value of x, which is 6. We have 4 times 6 plus 2 times the value of y, which is 4. Is greater than or equal to negative 16. Then we have negative 4 times 6. The answer is negative 24 plus 2 times 4, the answer is 8. Then, is it greater than or equal to negative 16? Then, we're going to answer this statement. Negative 24 plus 8, the answer is negative 16. Is greater than or equal to negative 16? So, we have two cases. Case 1 which is negative 16, is greater than negative 16. And the statement is false. For case 2, we have negative 16 is equal to negative 16. Then we can say that the statement is true. Then we, we can say that 6, 4, is a solution. Let's wrap it up. Fill in the blanks. Number one, blank is a mathematical statement that uses the inequality symbols greater than, less than, less than or equal, greater than or equal, or not equal in showing relationship between mathematical expressions. Correct. The answer is linear inequalities. For number 2, we have or we can solve linear inequalities same as linear equation by using what kind of method? Very good. The answer is substitution. Nice work. Now, let's exercise our minds. Determine whether or not the given ordered pair is the solution to the given linear inequalities. Letter A, we have y is greater than x. Ordered pair, 3, 4. Letter B, we have x plus y is less than 2. Ordered pair, 0, negative 2. Letter C, we have 2x minus y is less than or equal to 5. Ordered pair, 
0, 1. And finally, for letter D, we have 3x minus 5y is greater than 10. Ordered pair, 5, 1. For our math quotable quotes for today, the worst form of inequality is to try to make an equal things equal. From Aristotle. Don't forget to connect with me in the following social media sites. Thank you for watching!